In early 2018, Apple partially finished construction on their new massive office building, called Apple Campus 2, also known as Apple Park and the Spaceship. It was a project started by Apple founder Steve Jobs back in 2006. Jobs presented his plan for Apple Park to Cupertino City Council in 2011, months before he passed away. As Hewlett Packard has been shrinking lately, they decided to sell that property and we bought it. And we've come up with a, a design that puts 12,000 people in one building. Cupertino approved it in October 2013 and construction started in late 2013. The land cost an estimated $160 million in 2011. The original plan budget for Apple Campus was about $3 billion. However, in 2013, the total cost was estimated to be closer to $5 billion. Now I know, $5 billion for a building sounds like a fortune. Then again, Apple can afford it. A final spend of $5 billion is a huge outlay, but would still represent less than 2% of Apple's cash reserves, which was estimated at $285 billion in early 2018. And the company is currently valued at nearly $900 billion as of February 2018, and is on target to be valued at $1 trillion in 2019. Oh, and in case you're wondering, no other company in the world has as much money as Apple does. Apple Park is home to several buildings, most prominently a 2.8 million square foot ring, unofficially known as the Spaceship, which boasts circular walls four stories high, constructed from the largest panes of curved glass in the world, and one of the largest roof-mounted solar farms in the world. Here are some of the key features of the campus. The circular four-storey building will have 2.8 million square feet of office space, with enough room for 12,000 employees. The campus is one of the most energy efficient buildings in the world, and is powered by 100% renewable energy from 70 megawatts of rooftop solar panels. The campus sits on 175 acres of land, with separate on-site R&D facilities and 300 square feet of research space. The building is surrounded by 9,000 drought-resistant trees and will include olive, apricot, cherry and yes, apple trees. There will be jogging and cycling trails, with more than a thousand bikes kept on site at all times, which staff can use to make their way around. The building is clad entirely in the world's largest panels of curved glass and has about 3,000 glass panels throughout the whole building. The spaceship has 360 degrees curved glass fronted walls and central courtyard, overlooking a landscape park area on the inside ring. There is underground parking hidden from view, meaning 80% of the site can be covered in trees. The building stays eco-friendly with natural ventilation that works instead of air conditioning for 70% of the year and has low energy LED lighting where natural light doesn't reach. There's an orchard, meadow and pond within the ring's interior grounds, and the parkland has 3.2 kilometres of walking and running paths for Apple staff. The building also features a two-storey yoga room, a 100,000 square foot fitness centre, an underground 1,000 seat auditorium, a 4,000 person cafe with four-storey glass doors. And Apple even created and patented a pizza box that lets air and moisture escape so crusts won't get soggy for workers who want to take their cafe pizza back to their desks. The company's new 175 acre campus is one mile in circumference with a diameter of 461 metres and can house 12,000 employees. The main building was ready for employees to begin partial occupancy in January 2018 as the building was still not finished. The process of moving more than 12,000 people was estimated to take over six months. Since employees have been able to move in and start working in the building, a couple of big design issues have popped up, such as one of the features of the building was about 3,000 panels of floor-to-ceiling glass. All that glass may let in a lot of light and save on energy, but it appears Apple employees have been injuring themselves after walking into glass walls and doors. 
It has been reported that three Apple employees dialed 911 after walking into glass panels and injuring themselves. Another issue is, with so many employees working in one building, Apple opted to move away from individual offices to an open plan floor design. This open plan layout is used in much of the building, with most employees situated around large tables instead of separated into individual offices or cubicles. This layout is intended to promote collaboration, but it hasn't gone down well with everyone. Apple employees are unhappy and reluctant to accept the working conditions on the campus. It has apparently angered some of the company's engineers and developers, who are used to private offices or cubicles. Open plan offices have become more common since the 1990s, but have come under scrutiny in recent years. A recent report stated that open plan offices are sabotaging employees' abilities to focus at work with office workers losing 28% of their productive time due to interruptions and distractions. The biggest problem with companies changing anything are the workers. People in general hate change and are reluctant to change. But I guess if you want to work for one of the biggest companies in the world, they best learn fast that change is a part of life and you have to accept it. Now before I end this video, I would like to give a special thanks to Sasha from Oxy Sasha YouTube channel, who filmed drone footage of the Apple campus on three separate occasions, specifically for me and this video. Thanks a lot Sasha, I really appreciate it. Anyway, that's the end of this video, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.